Today is May 10. On the 10th of May 1503, Christopher Columbus visits the Cayman Islands, which he named after the numerous turtles present there. What did Columbus name the Cayman Islands? Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Smarter by the Second. Today I am joined by Jelle Maas. Welcome Jelle. Hello Dan. How are you doing? Uh, a bit brak. Uh, that so, happens. Uh, yeah, yeah it, uh, I had a great, uh, great evening yesterday, but uh, this morning I uh, am not feeling so well. So. You have to pay the price of the good evening. Yes, so I hope I'm still uh, gonna be smarter by the second, uh, and I will see. So this is actually an episode of Bracker by the second. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I learned a lot about this, and now it's finally happening. Yeah, I hope my uh, brain cells are coming together at some point, uh, <laughs> but we will see. Yeah, so, so that will be great. So could you first uh, introduce yourself? But now everyone only knows you as the person who is Brak. Yes. Uh, no, my name is not Brak. Uh, I am uh, Jelmaas. Uh, I'm a seventh-year student at computer science and doing my master currently in data science. Um, besides that, uh, I uh, like to quiz, but normally uh, I am on the couch uh, just watching shows and now I'm here, so that's uh, that's great. Uh, and I hope to uh, outsmart uh, your little brother Wout. Uh, <laughs> that is my goal of today. If I uh, don't uh, get to that goal, I uh, will be a bit sad, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's the common theme. You're not the first person to say this. Mm -hmm, I felt so as well. And I, I, I don't think you're going to be the last as well. If uh, you keep this... Uh, in huge people of interactive coming. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I hope it, it will it will go well. All right, all right. So you're playing uh, for geography. Yes. Why did you pick geography? Just like geography questions in general, uh, daily I play like the wor world doll, uh, the global, and uh, all those kind of things. So I hope I will uh, I will get uh, to a certain point that I will uh, ah, at least go to a f go. F through a few uh, a few rounds yes. and I think I uh, it should be possible should be possible mm -hmm. okay well I think we can just find out mm -hmm. yes let's uh, start with the first round Emma and Noah are the most popular names for children in the Netherlands in 2022 when they get older they are most likely still called Emma and Noah this however is not the case for all things here are nine former names of countries I will give you the current name of the country and you have to tell me the former name mm-hmm so the options you can choose from are Abyssinia, Siam, Alvesia, Numidia, Batavian Republic, Terra de Santa Cruz, Gold Coast, Burma and Ceylon. <laughs> so I think if you're now playing World Oil, you don't get the former names of countries. No, I am uh, looking at them and I um, have absolutely no idea. So no, I'm uh, not from a single one of them. Um, two or three. So uh, it's yeah, we're only looking for five. So oh, it's only five. Yeah, yeah fair. We, we, okay. It's not, uh, you don't have to get a perfect Lucky. round each time. And luckily I have five lifelines. So, that's yeah, so <laughs> if, you, if you know absolutely nothing, you will lose 80 seconds and five lifelines. <laughs> then you can get to round two. True. Um, yeah. All right. Let's start. First mm. one. Thailand, um, Burma, Algeria, uh, Abyssinia, Myanmar, um, Siam. Oh, where I said um, Burma is Siam, and where I, that one is Burma. Ethiopia. Uh, that is um, Ceylon. Sri Lanka. Oh, uh, Terra de Santa Cruz. The Netherlands. Uh, Batavian Republic. Switzerland. Uh, that is Helvetia. Brazil. Gold Coast. Ghana. Numidia. Uh, Numidia. Um, Want to switch or stop the time? Stop the time. <laughs> oh, that went absolutely terrible. Um, uh, we're going with five lifelines. No, no, I know okay. one at least that is correct. I am... Okay, old names of uh, of things is just a terrible thing for me, I have to say. Well, uh, at least after you, I don't think uh, the next round is going to be former names as well. No, so that's good. Um, I know only uh, one for certain, because Burma and Siam, I, I switched around because I know it's close to there. Um, but it could be either way that I just switch them around again. Um, 
4 lifelines is 16 seconds, uh, times 4 is uh, 64. Yeah, so you get a bit less than 200 seconds then. Yeah, and I need to have uh, 3 rounds after this, right? Or yes, with the, these seconds. Yeah, this is absolutely terrible. Uh, let's say um, 4 lifelines. Yeah. 4 lifelines. Alright, then on to checking. The first one is uh, from Thailand was called Siam, mm -hmm. so there's your first correct answer. So yeah. congratulations, you made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Algeria, which was called New Media. Mm -hmm. Then oh. Myanmar, which is Burma, so you switched mm -hmm. those yeah. nicely. Mm -hmm. Then Ethiopia is uh, Abyssinia. Mm -hmm. Then Sri Lanka was called Ceylon. Then yeah. we have the Netherlands, which was the Batavian Republic. Republic. Switzerland is Helvetia. I think it's still if uh, on the, the on your car it says yep. CH and the H True. comes from this. Uh, Brazil is Terra de Santa Cruz. Oh yeah. And lastly, uh, Gaina is Gold Coast. So you almost got a perfect round. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got uh, fourth. So you needed a lifeline. So. I did need a lifeline, yes. But uh, I think if I did not switch them correctly, I would have needed three of them. Yes. So. Yes. I think it was a good call. I was thinking of three eventually. Yeah. Um, well, you're just challenging yourself, you know, yeah, get those true. lifelines out of the way early. You know, uh. I mean, that's more fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. Many great cities are, found, are founded near water. It gives an enormous advantage if a city is able to not only move by land, but by using a ship as well. This boosts trade and lowers travel times. But sometimes you have a bad spawn, and but would like still like the benefits from all this. So here are nine famous canals. Okay, that's that's okay. That's doable. So the options you can choose from are the Suez Canal, the Panama Canal, the Middellandt Canal, the Klon Canals, the Goethe Canal, the Kiel Canal, the Grand Canal, the Corinth Canal, and the Houston Ship Canal. Mhm. Mm yeah. You know these. I uh, know a few of them. I think it should be possible, but uh, a lifeline would have been uh, helpful if I would have had uh, everything correct last round, I think. But uh, I think it's uh, it's possible, yeah. All right, I will give you a description and you have to tell me which one I'm describing. Okay. Good luck. First one, connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. Suez Canal. Connects the Yellow River and the Yangtze. It is the oldest and longest canal in the world and it has been built in the 6th century BC. and is Long canals. It is also called the Central German Canal and connects the Rhine to various major waterways like the Elbe. Uh, Kiel Canal. Connects the North Sea to the Baltic Sea through Sweden. It provides a route from Schroederkupping to Göteborg. Uh, Mittelland Canal. Connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Its construction was finished by the USA in 1914 and it saves 15,000 kilometers of traveling. Uh, Panama Canal. Connects the North Sea to the Baltic Sea through Germany. It is the busiest waterway in Europe and the most frequently used. Gotha Canal. Connects the Ionian Sea to the Aegean Sea in Greece. There uh, are already plants. Cornet with. Canal. These canals are the reason why Bangkok is called the Venice of the East. And there are 1680 on 1684 canals having Grand a Canal. A vital waterway in the USA. Is Houston Ship Canal. Uh, stop the time. Only five, right? Yes. Do you want to use your one lifeline <laughs> or not? Um, I, yeah, I might, I might have switched around things again because of the, the Gotha and Kiel or Gotha. Basically, the, the, the names that sound a bit German and uh, Nordic could be switched around. Klong sounds like the only one that is actually um, maybe close to uh, to Asian, uh, Asian parts, basically. Um, it would be fun to just use a lifeline to uh, to make it exciting. <laughs> um, and I would be certain that I have at least four correct, I would say, um, or at least five extra. Um, Suez Panama is correct. Uh, Houston is correct. Uh, then I only, yeah, let's let's just roll with it and I'm, I will see. All right, all right. Bold move. The first one it connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. In 2021, it was blocked by a crashed ship for a week. This is the Suez Canal. Then it connects the Yellow River and the Yangtze. It is the oldest and longest canal in the world, and it has been built in the 6th century BC and is almost 2,000 kilometers long. That's the Grand Canal. Okay. And it's also called the Central German Canal, and it connects the Rhine to various major waterways like the Elbe. That's the Mittelland Canal. 
Then it connects the North Sea to the Baltic Sea through Sweden. It provides a route from Söderköping to Göteborg. It's a bit in the name. It's Göteborg, it's the Göte Yeah, yeah. Then the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean are connected through the Panama Canal. Mm -hmm. Then it connects the North Sea to the Baltic Sea through Germany. It is the busiest waterway in Europe and the most frequently used canal in the world. That's the Kiel Canal. Mm -hmm. Then the Ionian Sea to the Aegean Sea is connected through the Corinth Canal. There were already plans for this canal in the 7th century BC, but it was a failed attempt around the year zero, but it was actually built at the end of the 19th century. Then these canals are the reason why Bangkok is called the Venice of the East. There are almost 1,500 canals having a total length of over 2,000 kilometers. Those are the Colon canals. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, a vital waterway in the USA is connected to the Gulf of Mexico and Texas and is opened since 1914. That's the Houston mm. Ship Canal, so... I should have used the last lifeline then. Yes, uh, you got four of them yourself. Yeah, fair. No, that was basically the switching around, which I already thought was like, yeah, maybe I should yeah, switch around the a bit. the two German ones and then the, the, the Swedish one. Yeah, and then the... It sounds a bit, yeah. You, the you, Asian one, which uh, yeah, with the Grand Canal and the... the Klung, yes. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. I mean, uh, yeah, that uh, that happens with the Brackhead, I would say. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have your copium ready already. That's true, that's true. Ah, that, right, uh, that happens. Uh, maybe next time is better. Uh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Thanks for participating either Thank way. You. We hope you had a good time here. I did have a good time. It was quite fun. Ah, so, good, uh, to hear, good to hear. We hope you recover soon as well uh, from your Brackhead. Yes, I will. I will uh, just next time, we'll just, uh, just watch it on the couch and just play it myself instead of participating. Yeah, it's it's always easier from the couch, isn't it? Yeah, that's absolutely true. That's, uh, <laughs> with every game show, you just... Uh, uh, just wait for the answer and say, yeah, I knew that one. Yeah, I, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think I also knew uh, the answers uh, to all these questions right yeah, now. Yeah, I think if we played three, <laughs> round three through eight, it went uh, flawlessly. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's too just uh, first two rounds were just too hard. That's, uh, yeah. that's the problem. Uh, that's on us. That's on us. Yeah. But exactly. Thanks for participating. Yeah. Thank you. And now we will move on to our next participant. And now I am joined by Sven. Hello, Sven. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. I'm a bit hangover, but <laughs> still I'm good. And we get that a lot around here uh, for yes. our, from our participants. <laughs> All right, so uh, could you shortly introduce yourself? Uh, yes, I'm Sven. I am 18 years old. Uh, I was studying uh, mathematics. I was in my first year, but now I stopped. I'm going to study CREATE next year. Mm. So how do you like it? Uh, how do you like? Do you think create? it's a better suit uh, for creative oh, technology? Creative, for definitely. Yes, I think. Oh, okay. Mathematics was way too technical for me. Oh. I think it's good that you found your your spot. Yes. All right. So uh, you're playing for the category history. Yes. So uh, why did you pick history? Uh, I was actually going to study history first, oh. but then I sort of accidentally switched <laughs> to mathematics at the last week I could. And it's quite so, something different. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I'm really interested in history. But then you don't need even switch back to history. Now you went. No, so no, I'm just going, going for creates. Oh, okay, you just liked it here in Enschede. Yeah? Uh, yeah, and I don't think like the jobs with mm. a history degree are that good. You could become the next Maarten van Rossum, you know. <laughs> I could. That sounds like the dream. <laughs> it does. All right, I think uh, we can start with our first round. Okay. Uh, Demi gods are often thought of as heroes. Nothing could be further from the truth, though, as many of these so called heroes were bloodthirsty savages who were ready to cause wars, if necessary, to make their wishes come true. Here are then nine Greek Demi gods and their deeds. I will give you a description and then you have to tell me the corresponding Demi god. Okay. And the options you can choose from are Narcissus, Achilles, Theseus, Heracles, Aeneas, Helen of Troy, Dionysus. Orpheus and Minos. Okay, it's the, the Greek uh, demigods. You know a lot about uh, this uh, subject? Uh, I think I, I know a couple of names, actually most of them, but some I do not recognize. Yeah, uh, for example, Thesis, I do not. Uh, but you only need to have five. So. Yes, I, f I think I'll be fine. All right. I hope so. Then uh, let's start. 
the son of Zeus and Semele, born a mortal, later became the god of wine and parties. Uh, Dionysus. Son of the river called Cephisus and the Riope, a um, Asian hero who scorned many of his lovers, including Echo. Cursed by Nemesis, he ended up falling in love with his own reflection. Uh, oh, uh, Narcissus. Daughter of King Tindari- Tindarius and Leda, and wife to Menelaus of Sparta. Uh, Phasus. Son of the sea nymph Thetis and Pelias, king of the Myrmidons, died by an arrow to his uh, heel. Minos. Son of Zeus and, uh, Zeus and Europa, and king of Crete. He commissioned Daedalus to build him the labyrinth, where he had the... Uh, Aeneas. Son of Zeus and Alcmene, with superhuman strength, is best known for his twelve labors. Achilles. Son of Calliope and the god Apollo, descended to Hades, the Hades too, and sexually rescued his lover Eurydice. Uh, oh, Heracles. Son of Poseidon and Ifra, Ifra is best known for slaying the Minotaur. All right, this is really badly. Um, uh, that one's Heracles, then the last one. And the last one, Trojan hero, son of Aphrodite, goddess of love and prince. Uh, and Jesus, he fled to Italy and became the ancestor of Romanus and Remus, founder of Rome. Fuck. Um, Orpheus. You want to and s- a stop time. Oi, oi, oi. That not, that I'm not good to... Uh, All right, um, so do you want to... Use any lifelines then, if, uh, if you don't think it went that well. Yeah, it went really badly, actually. Um, you do have five, so you could just save this round if you think you have no thing, no, uh, not a single one, correct? But that does mean I you uh, lose 80 seconds and all your lifelines. 80 seconds and all my lifelines, no. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for two lifelines. I really do think I need it. All right, all right. I went way too fast. All right. Then let's go to checking. First one, son of Zeus and Semele, born immortal, later to become the god of wine and parties, that is Dionysus. The son of the river god Cephasus and Liriope, a Boeotian hero who scorned many of his lovers, including Echo. Cursed by Nemesis, he ended up falling in love with his own reflection, that's Narcissus. Mm-hmm. Then the daughter of King Tyndareus and Leda and wife to Menelaus of Sparta, is said to have caused the Trojan War, that's Helen of Troy. Yeah. And we have the son of the sea nymph Phoebus and Peleus, king of the Myrmidons, died by an arrow to his heel, that's Achilles. Son of Zeus and Europa and king of Crete, he commissioned Daedalus to build in the labyrinth where he hit the Minotaur, that's Minos. Then son of Zeus and Alcmene with superhuman strength, is best known for his 12 labors and a Disney movie named after him, that's Heracles. Son of Calliope and the god Apollo descended to the Hades to unsuc- unsuccessfully rescue his lover Eurydice, that's Orpheus. Then the son of Poseidon and Aphra is best known for slaying the Minotaur, that's Theseus. Mm-hmm. And the Trojan hero, son of Aphrodite, goddess of love and prince Anchises. He fled to Italy and became the ancestor of Romanus and Remus, founders of Rome, that's Aeneas. Ooh, I'm sorry Sven. You needed one uh, lifeline. I needed more there. three lifelines. <laughs> I think if yeah. you just waited a little bit before answering the question, then then maybe yeah. there there came a part of the description where you would have uh, known the answer. I went really quickly in the beginning, and then yeah. I realized uh, everything was a mistake, except yeah. the first two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you started off well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, too bad, but. Either way, we thank you for participating. We <laughs> hope you had a great time. <laughs> I did have a great but short time. Yeah, exactly. Like it's the experience that counts, you know. We're not result focused around here. Uh, but I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this was it for today. The answer to the viewer question is Las Tortugas. Congratulations to all of you who got it right. And we hope you tune in next time to a new episode of Smarter by the Second.